Hello, my name is David Bryant, Athletic Director at Green Central High School. Welcome to our 2019-2020 Athletic Awards video. Each of our coaches will be talking about their season and presenting awards to their players. I personally would like to thank our parents, our players, our administration, our coaches, and all the community for, support, for supporting Green Central High School this year. This fall, JV football, varsity football, and men's soccer provided lots of great action. Cross country logged many miles and improved on their personal times. The JV and varsity volleyball teams showed lots of improvement this year. Women's tennis won their 26th consecutive conference championship in 2019, along with several players making regionals in singles and doubles. The wrestling team JV Boys Basketball, Varsity Girls Basketball, Varsity Boys Basketball, JV Cheerleading, and Varsity Cheerleading all had the ram pin rocking this winter. This spring, softball, men's tennis, men's and women's track, golf and baseball had their seasons cut short this year due to the coronavirus. I would like to thank the class of 2020 for all their effort of the last four years and wish you best of luck in the future. Hope you enjoy the video and go Rams. Hey everyone, um, my name is Haley Mercer and I was the head coach for um, the JV volleyball team for the 2019 season. Um, I wanna take the time to recognize my players for their um, hard work, their time, effort, passion, willingness to learn, um, and willingness to listen most of the time. Um, we're gonna start with number three, Star Benton. Number 15, Lauren Fields. Number eight, Carson Radford. Number 27, Mary Carson Head. Number 20, Kaylee Phillips. Number four, Shelby O'Brien. Number two, Kayla Stallings. Number seven, Tanaya Turnage. Number 28, Danielle Wright. Number 16, Yumaya Colley. Number 24, Nicole Ham. Number 10, Jenna Saland. Um, and I want to recognize Angel Hill. We're proud of her. She got moved up to varsity, um, but she was number 22 for us for a little while. Um, I also want to thank our managers um, for their hard work, their time. We could not have done this season without you. Um, and those are Amaya Brock, Elizabeth Sutton, and Anaya Haddock. Um, I have two awards I'm going to give out today. Um, the first one being um, most improved. Um, this player, when she came to me at the start of the season, she was shy, timid, um, but she put in the work. She um, listened and wanted to learn about the game. Um, and this has made her confidence grow, um, and that made her a better player, and I'm really proud of her. And this is going to go to Carson Radford. I have one more award I'm going to give out tonight or today. Um, that's going to be the Coach's Award. Um, this goes to a player that um, her hustle, heart, um, competitive nature, um, leadership, just willingness to go the extra mile um, made it easy coaching her. Um, I'm really proud of her, um, and this is going to go to Star Benton. Um, I'm so proud of um, our accomplishments this year. Um, it was a growing year. We learned a lot. It was my first year coaching. Um, I had so much fun with you guys. Um, I also want to take the time to thank my parents. Um, Y'all, we had st many, many sets of parents in the sands, hours away from the school. Um, and that really does make a huge difference for the team. And um, I appreciate you letting your kids hang out with me every day. Um, but I know this was a little bit different than your normal um, awards banquet. Uh, I miss you guys. I love you guys. I'm ready to see you and work this summer. Hello everyone, my name is Emily Lahr and I'm the varsity volleyball coach. I want to start by thanking all of the wonderful and strong athletes that I've been lucky enough to coach this year. Thank you for keeping me laughing, making me a better person and coach by going through the season with you and supporting each other when times were tough. I also want to thank the parents and families of each player. Without your dedication and influence, the girls would not be who they are today. With this, I want to commend the girls for doubling their previous year's record and competing every match. When I asked you to lay it all out on the court, you did just that. 
you worked as students first by attending after school study hall in my room. And that dedication rolled over as athletes during practice and matches. We had two very strong senior captains, Daly and Madeline, that guided the team to many victories on and off the court. They were not alone though. Each player made sure to do their part when entering the game. Without further ado, I'd like to present three awards. Most Improved, the Coach's Award, and the Most Valuable Player. For the Most Improved, we've selected an individual who joined our varsity team mid-year. She was quiet and shy and always wanted to do better. By the end of the season, she was spiking and blocking against some of our toughest opponents at the net. For this, we'd like to award Angel Hill our Most Improved Award. Next, our Coach's Award goes to someone who's done more than just put up stats. She worked to support the team as a leader. If you attended matches, you saw her diving, rolling, and yelling from the back row. It took time, but it's evident that she grew into the valuable position as a libero. Amber Spate is our Coach's Award recipient. Finally, our most valuable player is an athlete that spearheaded many a victory for our team. She was loud on the court, increased her kills and blocks on the front row, but turned into an incredibly valuable back row player. She mentored many individuals and her legacy will not be forgotten. Best of luck playing volleyball in college, Madeline Radford. The past few months have been incredibly unique experience and much about the future is still unknown. I'll leave you with this though, ladies. Continue to push yourself and never give up. As we move further into uncertain times, remember that you are the captain of your ship. You determine your success and direction. Continue to work hard, be good people, be kind, and be that which others aspire to be. I am so lucky to know you, and I am excited for the wonderful things you will accomplish. Thank you to everyone who supported the Lady Rams this season, and we hope to see you in the fall. Hello everyone watching this. Um, my name is Matthew Nall. I am the boys varsity soccer coach and the girls soccer coach. I'm going to be presenting and talking about my boys soccer team this year. Um, these guys had a great year this year. Unfortunately, the season didn't quite end the way that we wanted it to. Um, maybe next year we'll, uh, we'll take that next step and uh, make ourselves a force in the state. But um, overall, the boys team, we were 18 and four. Uh, we had a great season this year. Um, one of our losses was to uh, 4A school, South Central. The other two were to Washington, North Lenore, and then we lost in the first round of playoffs to Croton. Uh, those were our only four losses, and all of those losses we could have easily won. Um, in the long run, we had 135 goals for um, and only 34 goals against us this season. Uh, we had four players that were in double digits for goals, and we had four players that were in double digits for assists. So we were um, we were pretty uh, dominant force both on the offense and defense. Uh, we ended up finishing second in the conference to Washington. Um, first, before we move into awards and anything like that, I'd like to talk about my seniors. Uh, this was a great group of seniors. I've known them since seventh grade. Uh, in the four years that I was the head coach of this team, we went an overall record of 61, 9, and 1. Um, and that included three conference titles, two in middle school and one in high school. So this group uh, had an outstanding success um, as, uh, as players, and uh, I'm really going to miss this group. Um, Ulysses Mora, Felipe Hinojosa, Emmanuel Montavo, Mark Roman, Brian Ledesma, and Norberto Castillo. Um, I had a great time with you guys, and uh, I'm going to miss you guys. Um, moving on to some of the um, recognitions uh, as the News News um, voted, we had uh, numerous players make um, the all-area team. Honorable mention, Alex Nunez. He had six goals and five assists. Um, Eduardo Lalo Gonzalez had seven goals and ten assists. Um, second team all-area um, was Felipe Hanajosa, two goals, eight assists. Uh, Nathan Drake with 11 goals, 5 assists, and Huche Morquecho with 12 goals, 6 assists. Uh, for, we had four players make first team all area. James Acevedo had two goals, but was a, a key defensive figure. 
Ulysses Mora, who had 20 goals and 18 assists. Uh, Ariel Nunez, as a freshman, had 12 goals and 14 assists and made first team all area. And then Alan Rubio made first team all area, but I'd also like to recognize that Alan Rubio was the um, all area um, player of the year. Alan finished the season with 37 goals and 10 assists. That ranked him 13th in the state in total points and 8th in the state in goals. Um, Allen scored in every single game except for one this season and was an outstanding player, so congratulations to him. Now, as far as my awards go, um, first off, I'm going to do most improved. Um, this young, young man um, became a crucial part of the team, and um, you could tell our final game when he was um, – injured a bit or cramping up that uh, it, it made a difference when he wasn't in there. Um, our most improved goes to Alex Nunez. Um, he's completely changed his game around and uh, he's, he's going to be a key uh, force for our run next year. And then our most valuable player, uh, it easily could have been Alan uh, Rubio. He, I think he's got another year that he can uh, make a difference, but um, the Key catalyst behind him scoring a lot of his goals was this young man, and our most valuable player was Ulysses Mora. He finished the season with 20 goals and 18 assists. He's the type of player that just comes through and scores goals in key moments and makes that crucial pass, and he's going to be uh, a key component that we're really going to miss next year. Uh, but congratulations, Ulysses. And again, uh, I'm going to miss my boys, um, especially my senior guys. Hopefully this next year we, we get a season in and um, because we've got, we've got a team still coming up that's going to um, be a major uh, force to be reckoned with in the conference and in the state. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great day. What's up, Rams? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm here to give the Men's and Women's Cross Country Awards. For the men's, I'm going with two MVPs because these two guys, um, they both finished in the top 10 of almost every race and pretty much always finished within about 30 seconds of each other. And that award, those awards go to Evan Kane and Joseph Henderson. And for the women's cross country, I'm doing a most improved. Um, this runner um, was always so conscious of how she was uh, – how she was progressing and how well she was doing. And that goes to Alondra Delgado. Congrats guys on a great season. Hey, what's up uh, Rams nation. This is uh, Tim Medlin, head coach of the tennis teams here at green central. Uh, I want to talk to you today about two teams, men's team and the women's team, uh, the women's team started off of course in 2019, managed to finish a full season and a uh, great season it was. Uh, we went 19-0, and 0, uh, finished the five, uh, final five uh, weeks of the regular season, ranked as the number one team in uh, North Carolina. Um, got to the playoffs, unfortunately. Uh, went down to uh, number three ranked uh, Carver team, losing four or five, really close match. Had a couple of uh, uh, courts that could have gone either way. And uh, so that was tough, but they had two of the top 10 uh, players in the state and uh, they were a tough team. So uh, we're just going to uh, try to bring everybody back next year, go forward again. So uh, hoping everybody goes to work real hard. Um, a lot of all conference players, uh, Mackenzie Harper, is our number one ranked player, played doubles with uh, Kristen Kali. They won the conference doubles title as well as uh, being regional champions uh, here in Eastern North Carolina. So really proud of them, as well as everybody. Uh, several um, um, all-conference selections. Um, and we're gonna get together at another time when we can hand out all the, uh, all the individual awards. Um, but I uh, just want to note the team's accomplishments. Um, finished undefeated in the conference. Um, our 26th straight conference title here at Green Central, hard to believe. Um, but uh, we have not lost a conference title this century, so uh, really proud of our uh, program here. Um, the boys team, uh, of course, our season was cut short here in 2020. Uh, we only managed to get four matches in, uh, but Tucker Williams uh, started off real strong as our top player and a lot of uh, young faces and guys moving up in the lineup 
really proud of what we had going there. Um, we were two and two at the time the season uh, stopped, but those two losses were to uh, a tough 4A uh, ranked tennis program and a private school. Um, so that was just trying to get us geared up for a strong run and I'm very confident we were gonna win the uh, conference title again for the boys as well as make a good uh, run in the state coming off of last year where we were the number two ranked boys team in the state. So uh, real proud of all the uh, effort that's going on. I encourage everybody uh, because we got everybody coming back, both boys and girls team. And I uh, hope everybody goes to work and ready to uh, go after it again. Um, very proud individually to uh, be named uh, Conference Coach of the Year, as well as this year, to my surprise, um, I was named uh, North Carolina's top uh, tennis coach. So um, a good year for me as well. Uh, very proud of all the players over there, what makes it happen. So um, again, uh, sorry we can't get together for everybody. Everybody be safe. Hopefully everything will get back to normal soon and we'll be able to see everybody. So uh, go Rams. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Um, my job is to give the two awards for foot, JV football. Um, I have two awards to present. The first award is um, goes to the Defensive Player of the Year for JV. Um, this guy really came on for us late. Um, as far as the summer goes, but he was always a staple of the defense. Um, Coach Williams couldn't talk more about him. He did a great job holding us down defensively, uh, multiple positions. He even played some, a lot of offense too, but the defensive player of the year for JV is Ja'Shawn Moore, AKA Chick. <laughs> uh, the offensive player of the year for JV football. Um, I've always, I'm always adopted this kid because him and I didn't get along his freshman year. We bumped heads a lot because uh, he was just, he, he, I saw a lot of me in him. So, um, but he matured a lot his sophomore year and became into who I know he can be. I'm looking forward for great things for him this coming season. And the Offensive Player of the Year uh, for JV Football is Khalil Thomas. Thanks, guys. Look forward to working with you guys in a couple of weeks, hopefully. And time to go to work. See you soon. What's going on, Ram Nation? It's good to see you guys. Um, I hope everything is going well. I know times are different, um, and this is not exactly how I would love to have present presented these guys this, uh, these awards. Uh, but today and in this situation, this is what we're going to have to work with. So uh, we have five awards this year to five very, very deserving players. Uh, first, we're going to start with uh, what I consider one of my most favorite awards is my Ram Tough Award. Uh, that goes to Jaden Willis. Uh, Jaden started the season off. He had an ankle injury, um, and then he came back, and he had a uh, thumb injury, wound up playing in the cast uh, for a, a majority of the, the latter part of the season. Uh, but he still recorded uh, great numbers this year, and we're looking forward to great things. So our Ram Tough Award goes to Jaden Willis. Um, this year, a new award we call the Breakout Player of the Year Award. That award goes to Perry Tingen, Pete Tizzle, if you please. Uh, Perry was an offensive and a defensive threat the entire year. Um, and when he was out for a few games with a, a hand injury, it really had an effect on the team. Um, but Perry was definitely our breakout player of the year. Congratulations, PT. Um, next up, we have our offensive player of the year. Um, it goes without saying that this guy was a threat at all times, anywhere he lined up on the field. Teams had to make sure they knew where he, were, he was. Um, so this year's offensive player of the year goes to the big pterodactyl himself. Zach Bill Smith is our offensive player of the year. Um, our next award goes to our defensive player of the year. Uh, it goes without saying, this guy was a monster the entire year. Uh, he led the team in sacks. He led the conference in sacks, if I'm not mistaken, um, and has, uh, um, has an offer to go play or has accepted an offer to go play football at St. Augustine University. Um, so our defensive player of the year goes to Michael Johnson. Great job, Mike. Uh, and finally, our most valuable player, our MVP, MVP. This guy played both sides of the ball. He was a defensive end. He started at tight end. Um, and with the uh, suggestion from the head coach, he moved to running back uh, and then did an amazing job at running back. 
He played all over. He was our kickoff guy. Uh, put a couple of them in the end zone. Uh, and this year's MVP goes to Debo. Great job, Debo. Great job to all the guys that uh, participated this year. We look forward to as soon as we can get back out here to start lifting these weights and doing what we do to get better for next year. Thank you guys and have a great day. Ram family, this is Coach Whitehurst, head wrestling coach at Green Central High School. Parts and prayers go out to all of you as we go through this COVID-19 pandemic. Our wrestling team is filled with a group of guys who are hard work and dedicated and determined to become the best version of themselves throughout the course of the season. I'm extremely proud of these guys. Um, couldn't have asked for a better group, and I can't wait for another season with these guys next year. Overall, we had a record of 7-16. and 16. Four of those wins coming in conference, which shows our dominance as we continue to trace perfection and becoming front runners in the conference in future years. At the end of the season, we had nine regional qualifiers. Four of those wrestlers were one match shy of qualifying for the state championship in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm extremely proud of everything we have accomplished, and I can't wait till next season. Go Rams. Hello everyone, it's Miss Evans. I had the pleasure of serving as the JV cheerleading coach for the 2019-2020 school year. We experienced many ups and downs as most teams do, but in the end we had quite a successful year. Numerous people throughout the community noted on the great performance demonstrated by the JV cheerleaders this year, and we are extremely appreciative of all the support and encouragement we received. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to recognize a few cheerleaders for their particular performances this year. The first award I'd like to present is Most Improved to a well-deserving candidate. Not only is she always dependable, but from the beginning as a first-year cheerleader, her determination and love for the sport was highly evident. Throughout the course of the year, I watched her transform from hesitant to confident as she showcased her capabilities. The award for Most Improved goes to Kenaya Cooper. Congratulations, Kenaya. The next award I'd like to present is to a cheerleader that had the best voice projection this year. I had the pleasure of having this cheerleader as a student as well, and she is just as audible in the classroom as she is in performance mode. She has a voice that can carry an entire team as demonstrated on the field and on the floor. The award for outstanding voice projection goes to Elena Pridgen. Congratulations, Elena. The next award goes to someone who is not only a phenomenal cheerleader, but she's also the best team player. She strived to be the best while helping others strive to be their best. She was always willing to lend a helpful hand and assist anyone she saw struggling. The award for most encouraging goes to Nevaeh Perkins. Congratulations, Nevaeh. The next award goes to a young lady that was always ready for performance mode. Her lively personality, in addition to her stellar moves, was always a crowd pleaser. This is one cheerleader I never had to tell. Fix your face. The award for best facials goes to Markayla Rogers. Congratulations, Markayla. This final award goes to a cheerleader that had the best performance all around this year. She is someone I could always count on with a passion for cheer that she isn't hesitant to share with the world. She is the embodiment of what a cheerleader should be. Her charisma, personality, enthusiasm, drive, and love for cheerleading is not only evident, but inspiring. Watching her grow this year was one of the most rewarding aspects of serving as the coach. The award for all around best cheerleader goes to Kiana Williams. Congratulations, Kiana. Congrats to you all and to the entire team for an outstanding performance this year. Hope to see you soon. Hey girls, it's Miss Gray. Um, I was just going to take a second to reflect on the season and to announce awards for this year. Um, so, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody for a good season. I know there were some missteps on my behalf. I know there were some missteps on our behalf as a team um, and as individuals. But I think overall, we came a long way from start to finish. And I think it was overall a good season. I think there were still some good times to be had. Um, definitely some good laughs for me. So, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Um, I'm proud of each and every one of you. And 
even if I'm not coaching next year, you know, you can always come to me for, you know, whatever you need. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do awards really quick. Um, first up is MVP. That's going to go to Malia. Um, that is for when I had to make a call um, that people didn't like or people didn't agree with. Even if she didn't agree with it, you know, she would come to me in a very respectful manner and talk with me about, you know, her side of it. But ultimately, whatever I said went and she was good with that and she respected that. So that's why she's MVP, um, the, the love she has for cheerleading. And it was my first rodeo this year, so she kind of kept me on track with the ins and outs, you know, making sure that I kind of knew what was going on. So that is MVP. Next up is... Um, most improved. That's going to go to Ashanti Darden. She came a tremendous way from start to finish. This was her first year cheering and her senior year. So um, she spent a lot of her own time practicing. She invited people to come over to her house, you know, to help teach her. Um, and in addition to never missing, I don't think she ever missed a practice of ours, um, like our regular practices. So um, I'm very proud of her for that. And last is a tie for the Coaches Award. Um, and that's going to be Markia Cox and Jalen Gray. Whether I don't know if I've ever told them this or not, but on the really frustrating days, um, and y'all know there were some really frustrating days, um, they were kind of my two rocks um, that I looked to and said, you know what, we're going to figure this out because they didn't have any part of this or that, you know, they deserve a good season. They deserve, you know, my best. So, um, so appreciative of those two. They had the real heart of a cheerleader. They were inclusive. Everybody enjoyed, um, being around them. I never heard them say harsh words. Um, at least like I said, I didn't hear them. <laughs> um, so anyway, very proud of all of you again. I love you all and I can't wait to see you. Hello Ram Nation, I'm Stevon Johnson, your boy's JV basketball coach. It's that time of the year when we hand out awards to our athletes. Unfortunately, because of the virus, social distance is a way of life. So we stay at home, we wear our masks, we watch our hands. This year's team got off to a shaky start, but we ended up winning 11 of our last 14, which showed a lot of improvement. Since we have to do things different this year, I'm going to do things different. I'm going to put the video on autopilot. I'm going to introduce the players, introduce my most improved, and my MVP. Stay safe and enjoy. Good afternoon. This is Coach Elber here. Um, I'm here to acknowledge the 2019-2020 basketball season and the accomplishments of our team. I first want to start off by thanking the faculty and staff at Green Central High School for all of their support throughout the season. I also would like to thank the parents and the fans. And most of all, I would like to thank the players for coming out and working so hard and diligently for Coach Reggie and myself. We appreciate all of you. I want to start off by acknowledging my first uh, player, uh, Offensive Player of the Year. This player came in and made a great impact on the team and the game overall. Was our leading scorer and just tried her best to make all the other players better when she was on the floor. Um, offensive Player of the Year is Jonasia Edwards. I want to congratulate her for all of her accomplishments and I am proud of the player that she has become and is becoming. Look forward to seeing great things from her in the near future. The next award would be for the Defensive Player of the Year. This player was um, 
put on some difficult offensive player opponents and did nothing less than what we asked for her to do when she got on the court. She never complained, always worked hard, always showed up, just great things, great person overall. Our Defensive Player of the Year is Laura Rodriguez. Congratulations, Laura. The final award would be for our Most Improved Player. This player had a slow start to her season, um, but bought into the program, did the little things to make herself better, started believing in herself, believing in what Coach Reggie and I were trying to do through and for her, and her game is so much better, and I just want her to continue to practice on the offseason, keep the ball in her hand, continue the conditioning, and I really am so excited for what she's going to be bringing back to us next year. So, our most improved player will be none other than Lee Audria Mason. Congratulations, Lee Lee. Um, our all-conference player. This player was thrust into a role of leadership as a freshman, and she took on that role um, very gracefully. Um, she is going to be a great ball player. Um, continue to work hard. Continue to love the game. And we look forward to seeing you again as well. Camille Frazier is our all-conference player. Congratulations to all our team for our accomplishments this year. Um, we won some games. I'm so proud of y'all. Your hard work paid off. Coach Reggie and I couldn't have asked for a better group of players. And we thank you for your um, commitment. And we thank you for your hard work. And we look forward to seeing you back next year for those who are returning. Thank you and God bless. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Coach Blue Edwards. Man, do I miss my Ram family. Hopefully you guys are taking care of yourself and staying safe. Once we get this COVID-19 thing under control a little bit more, hopefully we can get back together. Until then, practice all the safety measures that you possibly can. Listen to all the logic. Let the rhetoric pass you by. It does no good for anybody, okay? The most important thing is to stay around, stay healthy. When we get together, we can fellowship and have a good time. Until then, I got a couple of awards that I want to get out to a couple of fine young basketball players and um, commend them on the season that they had for us this year. Now, as a basketball coach, I must admit that this season did not go as well as I had anticipated. I thought we would win many more games than we did. I thought we would go further into the state playoffs than we did. Sometimes you have a season like this where you don't live up to your expectations. I don't fault the players at all. I thought they worked hard. I appreciate them showing up each and every practice and games. And I felt like each night we played, we gave the best that we had on that night. So for that, I salute each and every one of my young players. And I thank my coaches. I thank the fans. And I thank the school for their support as well. Um, couldn't have not, we could not have done it without you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll get, uh, get, get things sorted out. And we'll, and we'll be better next year. Now, um, I got a couple of players that I want to single out for having terrific basketball seasons. These two young guys were seniors for us this year. Uh, we're going to miss them tremendously. Um, they did a lot for us. Uh, we would not have been as good as we were without these two guys. And because they went out and had good seasons, they are rewarded by being named all-conference. First is Kentrell Suggs, followed by... B.J. Corbett. Shouts out to you fine young men. Thank you guys for allowing me to coach you and hopefully I've made an impact on your lives that will last for an eternity. 
I have two more awards, awards that I would like to give out. First would be the most improved player. This is a, a, a young player that I had this year that made tremendous strides in becoming a starter, becoming a key contributor to the team. This is a guy that for me has been fun to coach because he loves the game of basketball, he loves being in the gym, and he loves getting the basketball to his teammates. I think with more maturity and some more work on his skills, that this young guy can be a terrific basketball player. I look forward to coaching him in the future. I look forward to what he does in basketball in the future. So my most improved player for this season is Dontavious Petaway. Congratulations. Finally, I would like to give out a coach's award. This coach's award to me will be synonymous with, with the MVP. This young man is a guy that I felt like down the stretch, if I can put the ball in his hands, he would make something good happen. He scored the ball for us. He assisted the basketball and he rebounded the basketball. And we needed for him to do all of those things. I'm really proud of the maturity that he showed throughout the year. He even became more of a leader for us. So this coach's award goes to Kentrell Suggs. Congratulations. Look forward to seeing you guys. On behalf of the golf team, I'd like to recognize our team members. Wyatt Perry, Andrew Fraboni, John Britt Martin, Taylor Dawson, and Luke Hoskins. While we were not able to participate in a complete season this year, we have had several players display a promising future. Wyatt was focusing towards making regionals and possibly states. Andrew was showing great improvement, while John Britt was learning the game of golf and getting better daily. Most importantly, my heart goes out to the seniors, Taylor and Luke, who are multi-sport athletes who have contributed to Green Central's football, track, and golf teams. I greatly appreciate the hard work these two have given Green Central for the past four years. <clears throat> it is also important that we that we realize the difficult times that we've that we have occurred. While in the while the loss of a final semester is difficult, it is important to focus on growth during times that lack comfort. Great things never come from comfort. They come during times of disappointment and grief. May your next season be one of joy and accomplishment. Hey, Ram Nation, I'm Scott Jones, head baseball coach of your Green Central Rams. I'm here today to talk briefly about the 2020 baseball season, but first, let me thank all of our coaches for their hard work and dedication. Uh, that would be Coach Bryant, Coach Fulgham, Coach Brand, and Coach Tilly. I'd like also to thank our parents for all their support, especially our senior parents for all you've done for our Ram baseball program. Of course, like all other spring sports, our season was cut short. We started off the season 0-2. We had a lot of new faces on the field this year with only four seniors returning from last year's squad. Um, I and all the coaches, though, think that with some time and some game experience, we would have had one heck of a season. Our four seniors were Jada Evans, who's going to Shaw University to try his hand at football or baseball. Debo Pickford, who's going to Elizabeth City State to play football. Zach Taylor, who's going to Barton College to continue playing baseball. And lastly, Perry Tingen, who is going to Guilford College to play football. All right, thank our seniors for all your hard work, dedication, time, and effort that you put into making yourselves better and also our program better. And lastly, I would like to say to all our 2020 graduates, especially our 2020 spring athletes whose season got sh cut short, my heart goes out to each and every one of you. You miss so much of the many things that make your senior season special. Uh, remember to stay safe, stay strong, and lastly, of course, go Rams. So I talked about my boys team. I just wanted to give a little shout out to my girls soccer team. Unfortunately, we did not get to finish um, our season due to unforeseen circumstances. Um, but uh, we had four games in. We didn't win any of those games, but uh, we showed some great promise. 
Um, we next year we're going to have a great team coming through. Uh, especially the girls work as hard as they were working this year. I think that we're going to um, see some success. I would like to say uh, I really am going to miss our seniors. We had a, um, four wonderful seniors that I enjoyed coaching the last couple of years. Um, Kelly, Vanessa, Lily, Lisette. I'm going to miss you. You guys are going to do great things. But um, come back and see us. And again, our girls' team's got great promise. We're going to get there. We just got to keep working hard. All right, ladies. Thanks. Uh, hey, guys. Um, unfortunately, this year we were not able to have an actual track meet. We had we were three scheduled and weren't able to have any of the three um, happen due to weather and then, then due to the uh, course pandemic. Um, but we had some amazing practices. Uh, we saw a lot of great things happening this year. Um, the great thing is that we're young. We're a young team, and so hopefully everybody will be back. But I do want to make a special point to uh, shout out those gentlemen who will not be back. Big Greg, um, who held us down in the shot in the shot and discus uh, for the past two or three years, was a state champ, was a state qualifier, made all the way to states last year. Uh, Zachville um, and Lamar, who were probably going to vie for first or second place in the high jump this year and also in the 400 and the 4 by 400 um, Hezekiah, we call him Hezzy, who was going to hold down our sprint and relay teams. Horn, who was going to uh, be back full-time, who's going to also hold down our relay teams and some individual races. New member, Brian Casillas, uh, who had shown a lot of great promise uh, coming out early. I do want to say thank you to those guys um, for the hard work and for the dedication that you've shown the program over your career and even at the beginning of this year. Um, but we look forward to next year having our track program be back in full swing, uh, hitting the weight room, and getting better every single day. Again, thank you, and have a great day. Hey, y'all. I hope everyone is doing good, staying safe with all this craziness. Um, I just wanted to do a real quick shout out to the senior track girls, Kira, Tay Tay, Kristen, Janasia, and Naima. I really hate that we didn't get a chance to do track this year. I wish all the seniors the best of luck. And if you ever need anything, you can come see Coach Biner at any time. All right. Thank y'all for running past three, four years, however long you ran track. And good luck to you. Hey guys, Coach Jones here to introduce the girls softball team for Green Central. This year, our freshmen, Tavia Wade, Madison Potter, Shelby O'Brien, and Sarah Taylor. Our sophomores were Star Benton, Amber Spate, Carson Howell, and Corey Sutton. Our juniors were Meredith Warren, Cassidy Turner, and Abby Burris. And our seniors were Daly Keel and Lark Collins. This year our season didn't go exactly how we planned, but we did manage to play three preseason scrimmage games as well as one regular season game. In all of our games, our girls showed just how talented they were and how great of a season we would have had. We're very hopeful moving forward that we will get to play in the summer with this talented group of girls. Right now, I would like to introduce and honor our two seniors. First, Daly Keel. Daly has played varsity softball for four seasons at Green Central. Over all four years with us, she has an overall record of 47 and 22. Last year, Daly led our team in hitting with a 475 batting average. She had four triples and 26 RBIs. Daly has been a huge asset to our team over all four years. She does anything and everything that we ask her to do. She's played infield, outfield. She's even pitched. Um, that's one of the qualities we love about Daly. She's always willing to do what's best for our team. Luckily, next year, Daly will move on to play college softball at Lewisburg College, so we're super excited that we're going to get to continue to see Daly playing on the softball field. Good luck next year, Daly. We'll miss you. Our next senior 
is Lark Collins. Um, we were so excited to have Lark join our team. From the minute she'd stepped foot on our team, she was a leader, and she was also a talented pitcher and hitter. Every day she works hard to get better at hitting and pitching, and we are very sad that we didn't get to learn more about Lark and play more games with Lark this year, but we're super excited to say that she is also going to continue her dream of playing college softball at Lewisburg College next year. Um, good luck, Lark. We're going to miss you. And finally, I would just like to say to all of our athletes out there, I know coaches say it every, to, every week to you when you're out there on the field to play every game like it's your last, but we want to make sure you think about that this year. After all that's happened this year to the spring sport athletes from this virus, knowing every game could be your last game, make sure you play as hard as you can every time you set foot on the field and leave everything on the field every time you play. Good luck, and we hope to see everybody on the field again next year or hopefully real soon. We'll miss our seniors. Good luck to everybody. So I want to thank uh, all of our athletes, coaches, our parents, and our fans for another great year of Ram Athletics. As a former athlete and a coach, I know that this is not the way we wanted our seasons to end, uh, nor our school year, but I know that these things are very important for each and every one of us as a cultural part of our schools. Uh, I want to take the time to congratulate all the athletes on their accomplishments this year. Um, and while every one of them may not have been a winner in the way we wanted to, we like to see that, that growth of all of our student athletes. Please know that as soon as this is over, we are really looking forward to being back uh, in our stands and in our bleachers, supporting our student athletes. And we wanna see all of Ram Nation back there with us, cheering our kids on as soon as we can get there. Thank you all.